So today we're going to take a look at the Seric Ortho 2.0 software. I'm going to run you through the software and show you actually how to use it um, and uh, some of the functionality of the software that I think you'll find very valuable. So you can see that we're in the model tab right now. Uh, I've already have a scan already preloaded in here. Uh, so a few options you have, you, you first of all can cut the model so you can trim uh, the model for any sort of artifacting or tags that, that you might not like. Mine looks pretty good. I'm, I'm more than happy with that. Um, and you can see down here we have a few uh, steps that I've already done, but these are steps that you're going to have to do before the analysis tab or the simulation tab become accessible. So uh, setting the model access, the software does a very good job of doing this uh, on its own, but always a good idea just to take a look at it. This uh, virtually is perfect. This is exactly what we like to see. Um, all of the uh, the tooth positions are in, in the right in the correct spot here. Uh, we're looking for our horizontal line to be roughly on the occlusal plane, and this vertical line to be splitting the central. So everything looks pretty good there. So the next step would be marking the teeth. Now, marking the teeth uh, is, is very simple. You're essentially just telling the software uh, which tooth is which tooth number. Uh, that way it can separate the teeth. And then it also helps the software determine the, uh, the arch, uh, arch line here. So all I, can, all I have to do is grab these little purple dots and I can move them over top of the occlusal surface of the tooth, like you see that they are right here. And then these gray dots move independently. So I can grab them and just move them over top the occlusal surface of the teeth. It doesn't have to be uh, it doesn't have to be perfect; just has to be close. So what you see there is more than good enough. Now, if we happen to have three eights or or four eight here, if I right click, I can add a three eight, or if I right click over here, I can add a four eight. Uh, the same thing is if maybe the three sevens are missing, uh, and uh, we want to remove the the three seven and the four seven. If you right click on it and you hit that X, it will delete that tooth mark. So that's how you can add or delete uh, tooth numbering. So again, we can do the same thing on the upper as well here. Just grab those purple dots, uh, move them to where you need them to be, and then grab the gray dots and, uh, and move them over top of the, the center, center of the occlusal surface there. And then the next step is separating the teeth. So the software, again, does a pretty good job of this, but there's a few little uh, little tips and tricks that you might want to know. So you can see here, I'm just rolling around on the model, making sure that uh, we have a clear uh, definition of, of where each tooth is. Uh, yes, there's some recession here, which is why the software drew the color all the way down there. So it does a very accurate job, but uh, there might be spots like this right here where you see there's a little bit of blue where it should be gingiva. If I just click on that tooth, you can see I get this orange line going around the tooth. And when I hover over it, it turns purple. Once that line turns purple, I can click and hold with the left button and just simply drag that line to anywhere that I want. Let go, and it will redraw the line for us. So I'm just looking for any areas like that that we might want to correct it. Um, making sure that this looks really good will ultimately help with the, the next steps, uh, meaning analysis and most importantly, the simulation. So just spend a, spend a minute or two making sure that everything looks pretty good on here. So that looks good. So let me just check the upper uh, jaw here really quick as well. You can see that uh, it did a pretty good job except for on that tooth there for whatever reason. Um, it wasn't able to, to, to separate that one. So I have a couple options. I can one, grab this purple dot and move it a little bit. And it, you see there that it automatically proposed where the borders of that tooth is. So that's all I needed to do. If for some reason it still wasn't very accurate, again, all you have to do is, I'll just show you back here on this tooth. You can click on the tooth get that orange line and simply click and hold with the left button and drag that line to anywhere that we we, uh, we need it to be to determine the border of that tooth. And you can see down here, I need to do the same thing over here. So click and hold, drag that line, and there you go. Uh, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Shouldn't take you too long. Just spend a minute or two in here just making sure the separations are correct because ultimately that will help us uh, in the next few phases, uh, especially in the in the simulation phase, as far as giving us a nice simulation to show the patient. Before I move on to analysis of simulation, I just want to show you, you can add a base to your models as well. So the software, if you're doing any sort of 3D printing, will automatically add a base for you. 
just like here. And uh, if I hit the delete button, I have the option of taking uh, this base and scaling it down to, to save myself on some resin. I can uh, bring it in here a little bit. So I can really customize this base to, to whatever shape that I, I like it to be in. And then you have different base options over here. But I'm just going to go ahead and hit apply. That one looks pretty good. And then if you want to export that to 3D print it, all you have to do is go over here to export. Go down to file export and export a closed geometry STL. That will export your scans with the base on them. An STL will just be uh, your open scans with no base, so they'll be hollow underneath. And for 3D printing, we need a closed geometry STL, so just export that one. And your export will look just like that. So the next thing we do is go into the analysis uh, phase. Now, with the analysis phase, you can totally skip this if you're simply using the software to do a simulation for the patient to see what they could look like after clear liner therapy, you can simply just skip over to simulation and do that for the patient. Analysis is really to, to substitute doing any sort of measurements on a model that you might be uh, doing traditionally. So if you're doing traditional wire and bracket or you, uh, you like to actually pour up models and do your measurements physically, uh, the software would do that for you. So we'll get, just go through the different options down here on the bottom, and I won't spend a lot of time on them, but you can uh, do your occlusion analysis. So you can uh, analyze the, the class right, class left. So you can see down here we have class right, and then we have class left. So you can see there's the class right, there's the class left measurements. We can do overbite, and we can do overjet and it will give us the, the precise measurements on that. Uh, the next one is our tooth widths. So with our tooth widths, these uh, have little calipers that we can just uh, click and hold on and we can move them around to wherever we need to move them to. Um, so the software does a pretty good job of, of automatically placing these, but feel free to make any adjustments if you don't like uh, what the software did automatically for you. Again, same thing on the upper jaw. So we can do our zones, uh, same thing with the calipers. It does a really good job of putting them in there automatically, but again, you can grab those and move those. You can do your arch length. So uh, you can grab these blue dots and you can move those to anywhere that you want to get the, the appropriate measurements. You can do your transverse measurements with the calipers again, and you can do your symmetry measurements in here as well. And again, you can grab the blue dots and move those to wherever you want. The really important thing is after you've done all of uh, this analysis, you can click on PDF export and it will export a very detailed report for you. Let me just show you what that actually looks like. So this is what it will look like. And you can see here that uh, everything that we just uh, did, each one of the steps is exported that you can either uh, put this in your in your files for reference. Uh, you can print it out and use it, or you can send it on. Maybe you're referring the patient to a, a specialist and you want to provide this information. Uh, you can you can do all of that. So really nice feature. It gives you a super detailed report. So if we go back to the software here, you can see uh, now with the simulation tab, uh, and I think this is what most people will be using the software for, uh, we can show the patient what they would look like after some clear liner therapy. So you can see right now, um, this patient, uh, what we're looking at is what their teeth would look like if they were straight. Uh, over here, I have a couple functions. If I click on this button here on the right under analysis, uh, it will give us what the original position looks like for the patient. And if I unclick it, it'll show us what the proposal looks like uh, with some sort of orthodontic treatment. Over here on the left-hand side, you can click this unlock button and you can uh, rotate this model. So perhaps we wanted to see uh, the simulation for the patient's uh, right uh, and left side at the same time. So I can orient the models appropriately and then click on original position and then unclick it to see what the simulation looks like, okay? The other really nice thing uh, you can do here is if I turn on my display objects, I can turn off the lower jaw and I can show this patient what their contacts look like uh, in the original position and then unclick it and show them what their contacts would look like after some orthodontic treatment. So not only can we talk to the aesthetic functionality 
of uh, ortho treatment for this patient, but we can also also have a discussion with them about the the function and, and how their their bite uh, would improve by having some orthodontic treatment and, and what the value to that is. And again, we can do the same thing on the lower here. You can see this patient here has a very heavy bite. So the other nice thing that you can do is if you don't if you don't like how the software proposed uh, something like perhaps uh, we wanted to you know um, fix the uh, looks like the three two here if I use the move tool and click on that tooth I have these little arrows that I can tip and turn the teeth to put them in the the position that ultimately we would propose uh, for the patient. Uh, within the, the prescription that we do for, uh, for orthodontics. Maybe this tooth is, is uh, a little too high, we can bring it down. So you can make any sort of adjustments that you want uh, to, the, to the proposal that the software uh, gave you. Also over here on the left-hand side, you see we're under simulated treatment right now, but we can also simulate extraction. So this patient, uh, you know, they don't have their eights, but perhaps we're scanning a patient that has the eights and we want to look like, look, want to see what it would look like uh, if we were to remove those eights to reduce some crowding. So if we just click on a tooth and then click again, it will uh, virtually extract that tooth. And then you can go back to simulation and you can look at what that uh, proposal would look like now with the extracted teeth. Uh, and if you want to put them back, you just click back in the empty spot and it brings those teeth back. So a really handy uh, tool in order for uh, case acceptance for orthodontics, but also just general analysis for, uh, for orthodontics. And then the final thing that we can do here is over on the export tab, uh, we can click on aligners and we can simply uh, submit this scan with, with one click off to SureSmile, clear, correct, ideal smile aligners. But SureSmile is the, uh, the really important one here. So I can click on SureSmile, enter my password, and uh, within a few minutes, your scans will be over to SureSmile and you'll be able to do the uh, prescription for this patient. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. But I uh, hope you enjoy your experience with Seracortha 2.0.